Hi, this is Saro. I'm here to explain you about scalar network analysis by using signal and spectrum analysis to run tracking generate. Combining these two networks as a scalar network analysis. This is a connection setup which I have given. The tracking generator synchronization port is connected through spectrum analysis synchronization port. And the input of the spectrum analyzer is given to direction coupler coupled port and the output of the coupled port is given to tracking generator antenna act as a duty is given as an input and the direction coupler measures the return loss return loss is related to both standing wave ratio and reflection coefficient increasing return loss corresponds to lower SWR now let us see the performance how it measures it once the application has launched it immediately starts sweeping the entire band and now it's started sweeping and we need to change the analysis mode into scalar network analysis by clicking analysis mode right from the beginning it has and here we have a scalar network analysis option here we have a warning signal that signal level higher than the reference level which has we need to increase some reference level so minus 20 dB is now the reference level is just reduced to minus 10 and now it's in plus 10 plus 20 dB and now it's in plus 20 dB of reference level so here yeah, we don't have any indication and we need to calibrate by clicking store through here we have option then a fractional second it calibrate and there is no any loss occurs in the cable so after finishing it after let us connect the setup what as shown in the beginning yeah this is a return loss of a particular antenna which we have given beautifully it shows how the return loss occurs while clicking this active and update it shows the marker it can place anywhere wherever we need here at 2.3 gigahertz we have a return loss of minus 21.20 db it's very good and marker 2 is placed in 2 gigahertz at minus 2.81 db and marker 3 can be placed in 2.54 gigahertz at minus 12.56 db and let us place marker 4 here and marker 5 here it's up to our user friendly wherever we can able to fix our marker and it shows the corresponding db return loss wherever it is marker 2 it has higher return loss we can change the marker wherever we need from 3 to 2 or like that shows the we can see where the return loss is higher so i think so marker one is this is the connection setup for s12 and s21 parameters this parameter is useful to measure insertion loss gain isolation inverse isolation etc and the two synchronization port at that panel is connected together and from the dut input port is given to tracking generator and output is given to spectrum analysis now let us see how we can measure the insertion loss. Once the application is launched, it takes a few seconds to enter into the GUI. And now we will change the analysis into scanner network analysis mode. And immediately it shows some warning signal, which has we need to increase some reference level to let it be in 10 dB only. So that the warning may disappear. And now change the center frequency as 10.7 megahertz of it at a span of 3 megahertz. Let me calibrate by clicking stored through the RBR option. Immediately within a fractional second it gets calibrated with 0 dB in session loss. Now let me see the now let us place a marker view marker with help of marker function peak search you can see the insertion loss of minus 31.590 now choose 
marker two at here and uh, by clicking delta function you can measure the bandwidth of particular range at minus 1.35 dB it shows at 440 kilohertz of band bandwidth and uh, let me try in some other place where you uh, and show some delta function yeah let me place here with the help of delta function you can set make sure it the bandwidth is minus 320 kilohertz at 0.55 db you can place some other markers here and you can place it here so and we need and you can corresponding to it it shows the db value and here we have trace option different types of traces are applicable let me go with min mode and max mode you choose different colors based on your application you can choose let me choose trace 3 as average page yeah you can you can see it's three different colors it's up to user friendly with the help of traces we can able to identify three different uh, analysis and uh, you can choose it as max code thus the performance of the insertion loss can be measured thanks for watching